orangecountypostsentinel.com. Good to have you aboard. Here's the gang, the Smith boys, John Gaudioso, our chief meteorologist. And, of course, we've got some fans watching today, some of our big fans, Kathy Quick of Wartsboro, New York, Diana Burke of New Paltz, and Amy Gross of my hometown, Philadelphia. And we are sponsored today by Look Who. It's Good Old Days Florist. They are the only eco-friendly, green-certified, full-service florist, and they're right here in New Windsor, the only one in America. They use all American-grown flowers, award-winning designs. If you have a wedding or graduation party coming up, check them out. Here is our weather word today, and it is occlusion. And you might say, well, Dave, what's, a, what's with occlusion? What is that? It's a weather term. It's related to a lot of other words that you and I are familiar with, but it's a weather term, and it has to do with, like, the last stage of a storm as it moves across the countryside, across the country, thousands of miles. Usually, you'll see the area of low pressure right here at the convergent point between warm front and cold front. But late in a storm system, the warm air gets pinched out, and the area of low pressure is back here, closed off from the warm air. That's when a storm begins to weaken. And it's closed and clues in occlusion that are actually related terms. They come from the Latin root. Close, occlusion, the clued in include, and we've got preclude, exclude, conclude, all having to do with closing off. You could probably come up with some other words that you can think of. Conclude, exclude, preclude, include. Uh, we'll see what you can come up with. Even the word closet, closing off of something from something else. Cloister, same story. If you're cloistered, you are set apart. Even claustrophobia comes from the same Latin root as occlusion. Claustrophobia, someone who is afraid, who has an irrational fear of being in a closed off space, like an elevator, for example, or an airplane. Some of you may suffer from that. Well, we didn't have an occlusion on the map on Thursday. We did have a storm, however, a couple of them. A weak area of low pressure in the Northeast Gulf, keeping it wet there, and will on Friday, too, and Saturday. And then this storm that's put down some record-breaking snows for May in places like Denver and Kansas City. Do you realize that on Thursday at 7 p.m., the temperature in Newburgh was 72 degrees, 75 up in Messina, New York, while in Dallas it was 44 degrees. Cold air coming southward, warm air coming northward, but the moisture stays away from us. High pressure in control for the Hudson Valley. I'm talking about Friday after some morning clouds. Friday night looks fantastic. Saturday, sunny. Sunday, sunny after a few morning clouds. Temperatures will rise to near or slightly above 70 all three days. Overnight lows in the 40s. Can you beat that? And the next storm, since we're in this very stalled out weather pattern, isn't going to throw any clouds for rain in here until next Tuesday night or Wednesday. <laughs> so things are looking great right here in the Hudson Valley. Hey, want to give a few more shout outs here to Rose Ferguson. She's in the town of Newburgh. Thank you for watching, Rose. Patty Malit is in Kingston. And, of course, Randy Cole up in Poughkeepsie, New York. Glad to have you guys and everybody who's watching OrangeCountyPostSentinel.com right here. I'm Dave Schwartz along with the gang, thanking you for watching. And once again, it's Good Old Days Florist. We're so glad to have them as a sponsor this week. See you next time.